Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and my fellow Tulsa Strudels. This is your host with the most, aka also known as Nelson. I know you haven't seen me in a cool mini, y'all, but again, I probably will explain that another day. But for right now, I just want to say something real quick, y'all, while I was freshly on top of my head, because I'm sitting outside by the garage. <clears throat> and your boy's been sick for a few weeks. Well, yeah, yeah, a few weeks. And I was like, you know what, let me try to give me some fresh air today and uh, get a little bit of sunlight, but. Ooh, y'all, don't forget, I'm in Mississippi, so I'm in the South, so it's hot. It's hot. So I'm going to get a little bit of sunlight, but I was like, let me just get a few, uh, some shade in real quick. But again, that's not here nor there. Real quick, y'all, what I wanted to touch on real quick was, again, fresh off the top of my head was, I was just listening to uh, a, a particular interesting segment from Melody King, if you ever go check her out. I probably will link it in the description box down below or in the comment section down below. Most likely in the comment section. That's why I'm thinking I'm going to put it. Anyhow, I was listening to it, her having a discussion with another uh, young lady, having a conversation in regards to the red pill. And you know what it made me think about? And don't get twisted, y'all. I will cover the red pill at some point. Yes, the sub series is going to come back in time. Now, again... If you want to check me out more on a daily basis, not right now, but in the future, while I get with this cold, please go check out my Twitter. Again, I will link all my socials and stuff down in the description box, box down below. Anyhow, the point being why I want to make this quick video is just to sound off a particular interesting thought I had in my head. Now, for anyone of you guys, even if you've never seen the movie, most of the time, you probably will follow what I'm about to say. But I want to encourage you to give better context. Go watch the movie called Karate Kid. Not the uh, one with uh, Jackie Chan. I'm about to talk about the original. And the reason why I encourage you guys to go watch it. You don't have to watch the whole thing. But I would say watch clips with, at the very least, with Mr. Miyagi. Those are probably the most important. I want you guys to go check it out. And the reason why I want to bring that up and why I want to make the correlation between that movie and the discussion in this particular segment, again, I want you guys to go check it out at your discretion, is because I thought to myself, you know what, I do understand why some people do have a pushback against the red peel. Red, why is that peel? <coughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'll fuck it up, y'all. The red pill, right? And I thought to myself, you know what, I do understand the criticism. I do understand the need that are more so the necessity of what the red pill represents for young men or men in general, for the most part in this day and age. Right. And for some women as well, give it if they, you know, they take it or they leave it. But, you know, what I thought to myself was from what I'm hearing. And I think that with this particular subject matter, what I try to do, y'all, and if you guys have, I think I said this on the channel before, if I haven't, let me say it here. Something I learned, and I still apply to this day, when uh, back at college, I took a uh, speech course. Not a speech course. I took a speech class, excuse me. Well, I mean, technically, that's both true. But anyhow, and y'all, not trying to get into that. <laughs> but I took a class, I took a, the course, and my professor has shared with us and told us that one of the major goals when it comes to being a public speaker is you want to take something that is complicated and make it simple, but also at the same breath, have the capacity to take something that's relatively simple and, you know, showcase the co the complex or the, the more complex, what I'm trying to say here, complex notions of what, from a simplified version of whatever it may be at. Basically, Take something that's simple, make it complicated, and make something that's complicated make, turn back to simple. That kind of deal, right? And so I thought to myself, you know what? I think to put this in the most simplest, in the most simplest way for men, I think from women looking from the outside trying to look in, I think this is the best way I can describe it. Right now, I say this. If let's see, the best way I can phrase this, y'all, it is like this. It's two camps men, for the most part, can fit in in this day and age. One is the class of Mr. Miyagi. The second class is that of Cobra Kai. Now, here's the thing. If you ever watched the movie, and again, even if you haven't watched it all the way through, mostly y'all get what I'm trying to get at here, is that Mr. Miyagi only had one student, and that was Daniel's son. Whereas Cobra Kai had many students, plenty but think about this. The whole point of the film, for the most part, what it showcased with Mr. Miyagi is that even though he had only one student, 
Not to say that he didn't have other students, but for the most part, in the beginning of the film, or throughout the first film, we know, actually, technically, through, I think, technically, the trilogy, the, the original tr Karate Kid, he only had Daniel's son, for the most part. So, think about it like this. Even though he only had one student, he devoted his time, his wisdom, and his love for not just teaching and passing on knowledge but the sincerity that he felt with Daniel's son he gave it to his one student he focused his energy towards one student versus Cobra Kai appealing to the mass but did not have the same values or the same wisdom as Mrs. Miyagi had now here's the thing <clears throat> If any of you guys have ever listened to, and I encourage, especially ladies, if you listen to this, I implore you, please go look up Patrice O'Neill, because he has a particular analogy in his podcast. It's called The Black Phillips Show. Even though, unfortunately, he passed away several years ago, and he only had about 12 episodes, or 12, yeah, episodes of the podcast, I still encourage you guys to go watch it, or not watch it, well, you can you know what I'm trying to say, oh, listen to it. But anyhow, he had a very interesting analogy he used in the podcast and many times outside of the podcast that makes a lot of sense when I look back and I, and I give it a lot more thought. He said like this, when he is speaking to women, for the most part, he's trying to figure out, OK, for the most part, who can handle my bullshit, a.k.a. who can be a part of my dojo. So say with his girl at that time. He recognized that she was giving, getting to the level of being a black belt. Now, here's the thing. Just like in the realm of a martial arts class, a student wants to test themselves against their sensei. Try to figure out, okay, have I learned everything about this particular school or is there more to be learned? So, every so often, she might try to challenge him and he's got to flip her on her head. But she's getting better. So I think for the most part, fellas, when women look at us, they're trying to inherently, I think, trying to figure out who can be my sensei. And ladies, for men, we're trying to look around and see who can be our students. Now, again, for us, our decision comes down to, again, either we're going to be karate or excuse me, Miss Miyagi, or we're going to be Cobra Kai. Which one are we going to be? And your decision is, do I want to go with Cobra Kai or do I want to go with Mr. Miyagi? But fellas, what I will say is this. I think more times than not, there has been an imbalance between these two forces. There are more men who want to go the route of Cobra Kai versus, and it makes sense, Mr. Miyagi. Because for Mr. Miyagi, you got to think about his character. To be Mr. Miyagi, you have to go through some shit. And not to say the same thing can't be applied granted to Cobra Kai I won't say that but you gotta think about it like this the approach in which he goes about it again Cobra Kai does it attracts a lot of more people because it's more flashy it's much more mainstream versus Mr. Miyagi is more I won't say traditional necessarily but it's much more uh, what's the word I want to say here it's much more I guess boots on the ground kind of deal. That makes sense. Where there will say Mr. Miyagi approaches teaching his students in a much more unorthodox, excuse me, y'all, manner to where you think to yourself, you're not really learning any karate, but technically you are learning karate. Again, it's just not in the way you expect it versus Cobra Kai will give you what you want. But here's the thing. Are you getting what you need? See, Mr. Miyagi will give you what you need. He won't give you what you want. Again, that's the big difference. One is going to give you what you want. The other one's going to give you what you need. So which one do you ultimately want to go down the path of? What do you want or what do you need? That's the decision you have to make. But like I said, fellas, for us, that's a decision we have to make for ourselves as well. Do we want to go the route of providing what women want in their lives versus what do they need in their lives? You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? I think y'all get what I'm saying. But anyhow, this video has gone long enough, y'all. Let me go ahead and close it out. But again, like I got to tell y'all before, I'll try to keep these relatively short if I can, get to the point, 
and leave, go ahead and leave you guys. Have a wonderful day. If you could do your boy a kind favor real quick, y'all, and I do see that little drip come down my nose, y'all. All right, I'm gonna blow in a minute. Not like that, y'all. Not like that, y'all. Calm down. But before I get out of here, if you guys would do me a favor, please comment, subscribe, share, like, all that good jazz. And I will catch y'all in the next video. And again, this other series will come back, y'all. If you have any particular suggestions, please reach out to me on my Twitter or in the comment section down below. Anyhow, I'll catch y'all later. Peace out. A down down. Namaste. I'm out. Peace. Wait a minute. Is there anything else in particular I want to share with you guys? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Mm. Oh, okay. Just so you guys know. And again, I'll probably just put this in the description right below. But when I stream, y'all, I'm trying to stream a little more later in the day. So instead of where it was like 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, now it's going to be 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. For the time being, just test it out and see how that works. But all that being said, y'all, I'll catch y'all later. Bye.